Hi everyone, my name is Henry, and I'm 16 years old. A year ago, my mom forced me to go to an all-girls school and pushed me into an arranged marriage. And it all backfired horribly. First, you need to understand how I ended up in an all-girls school. For most of my life, I lived in a big city. My parents were fighting a bit, and it felt like they weren't getting along. But they would usually work it out, so I wasn't worried. But this time was different. At this time, my father came out to my mother. He was gay. She was shocked. She immediately asked for a divorce and started planning our escape. She wanted to move as far away from him as possible. It was tragic. I mean, I still loved my father. I wanted to see him. I wanted to talk to him. A couple of weeks later, she got a high-paying job out in the middle of nowhere, and we moved. But the situation in our new home wasn't better. My mom felt this strange paranoia that I will somehow turn gay because of this. She didn't want me to talk to or hang out with guys. She felt like I was way too close to my best friend. So this horrible idea came to her. There weren't a lot of schools where we moved. I knew there was one about 100 miles away that I would probably be eligible for, but my mom had a different idea. She convinced an all-girls boarding school to let me attend classes. I was the only boy there. I felt incredibly nervous. I was going to be the only teenage boy within 60 miles of this place. Were the girls going to ostracize me? The first day of classes, I felt every single girl's eyes on me. My face was bright red. In the first class, we had to pick partners, and almost every single girl tried to pick me. Some girls were even fighting over me. For the first time in my life, I was super confident. In science class, I picked a beautiful girl named Kelsey as my partner. Immediately, a fight broke out. Girls were screaming at Kelsey and telling her to stop hogging me. Every time I went back home, my mom was so excited to talk about school, especially girls. She'd keep asking me if I like one of them. Do any of them seem attractive to me? It seemed kind of pushy, but I was glad that we reconnected in some way. One day, Kelsey asked me on a date. I was a little nervous because I wasn't really a heartbreaker before, but my mom calmed me down. She even said that I can invite Kelsey to our house for the evening and she'd leave us alone and go to her friends. It seemed very nice of her until that morning when I saw what she left for me on my bed. It was condoms. My mom bought me condoms for my first date. I was shocked. But on the other hand, every teenager's dream of such an open-minded mom. So I went for it. it. It was weird, strange, and uncomfortable for the first time, but it felt great. My mom even made us breakfast in the morning. Yet, this isn't where the story ends. As every girl in my high school knew about it, they started asking me if I wanted them to come over. They knew that about each other, but they didn't care. At least it seems so. Just as I was at the top of my game, it started going downhill. After sleeping with me, they all started getting jealous. They expected me to choose. After our math class, my girls and I went outside to talk things out. After hearing them scream, I decided that it's enough. I told them that I'm not interested in dating any of them and I think we should stop. I thought that this would stop this insanity but the next evening was surely the stuff of nightmares. I was in my room watching TV when I heard voices outside our house. I peeked through the window and saw about six men coming. They were all furious and loud. It really looked like they were coming to burn our house down. My mom opened the door and they all poured into our living room, ranting and searching for me. That's when I understood that they are all dads of the girls I've dated. I heard the word deflowered and I knew I'm in trouble. My mom calmed them down and tried defending me, saying that it's natural for kids my age to be curious about this stuff. After all the ranting, most of the men agreed that I should be expelled and left, but there was one man that wasn't having it. He was old, conservative, very religious. He asked me to come down and told me that the best thing I can do now is to marry his daughter as she gave me her greatest gift. I thought he was joking. I giggled to myself. But he wasn't. He said that with our parents' consent, we would be able to do it. And the craziest thing is, my mom agreed. I thought that these things didn't happen in the 21st century, but it did. 
Her father said that otherwise, he's going to throw his sinful daughter out. And I won't be able to get into any school. So, I was engaged to Kelsey against my own will. The next morning, I met Kelsey in the town park. She was furious about this whole engagement thing too. And I thought that there was only one person that could help us in all of this. My father. We called him and he said that we could live with him if we wanted to. But she is not of legal age to do so and the easiest way for him to help us get out of this whole situation was to actually get married and then emancipated from our parents. So we did. We held this small ceremony in the town hall and as soon as we did, we filed a court order for emancipation. My mom and her parents wanted us to grow up and start a family so badly. So we did. We decided to be responsible for ourselves. Now, we live with my father far away from them. We're attending the same school and supporting each other. It's strange when you think about it that about two years ago, I was a child, confused by my parents' divorce, and now I'm legally a grown-up and a husband. I don't think Kelsey is the love of my life, but she's definitely my family. We helped each other escape people who hurt us, and we'll help each other grow. Did you like this story? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Dear Diary as we post new stories every week.